Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to a new tutorial about DaVinci Resolve. So I changed things up a bit since the release of beta version 15 of DaVinci Resolve. I'll now have one tutorial series called DaVinci Resolve Tutorials, which is the first episode, this one. And I also have a series called Fusion New, which is all about Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So today, well, something is wrong, one, one sec. That's better. Okay, I'll show you how to do that effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 15 right now. So let's go to the edit suite. Okay, so here we are back in the Finch Resolve, and um, the first thing we need to do when we want to do this uh, T-shirt color shift effect is we need to go to the point where, in this case, I am, I am dragging it. Like there, it should be another color. So, and then we just do a, a simple cut, and with, if we are doing it more than one time we'll just do a cut when there is the next shift in color uh, for the t-shirt or maybe you just want to shift the color of a t-shirt you can just do that it's the same thing you're going to do anyways so first off we have done a cut and then let's go to the color tab and in the color tab we'll just do some kind of a basic grade and i want to be on the first clip actually and let's do, I'll just use one of the LUTs here, the new LUTs in the Vinci Resolve 15, which I think is great. Let's see, let's take this one. And then if we just push Shift S, we'll do a, a note before the LUT. And I just think I'll just do a little, not too much. So something like that. Okay, and then we'll just go to the LUT node and Control S and do a new node. And then we go to the qualifier. And what we want to do is we want to, actually, before we do that, we are just going to take our grade and copy paste it. And that's just by highlighting the clip here and then pushing the middle mouse button, just like that. So we'll go to the second clip because it's only in the second clip I actually do change the color of the t-shirt. So we'll go to our third node and se select the qualifier and then we'll just take down the LUT here, we don't need that. And then click on this icon here, the magic ban icon or the highlight icon. And then just push and th that is our selection, not too great, not too bad either in between. So we'll just go down here to the qualifier in the hue and start to mess around with the, with the center and the width. So already a little bit better and then we'll go to the saturation, do the exact same thing, just play around with it and then go down to the lumens. And then also go to the soft here. Let's uh, drag it that way. And the so I think I think it should be. I mean, we can you can really try to finesse this a bit. You also have these matte finesses over here. And I think if we drag a little in the clean white, we're going to get. I mean, and also in the blue blacks. And we'll just continue with the... And we'll soften a bit out. So something like that. So now we've done a 
decent, I, I would say, a decent keying of the, the green here. So what we'll do as the second thing is that we're going to take the window and we're just going to take the, the curve one here and then we'll just draw a shape. And doesn't have to we just need to keep the green out of the skin tones and also to keep the green away from the background so as soon as we've done that we'll just do a quick tracking of that so just go to the track and then just push track it's a pretty simple track though so not too hard okay and then let's go back we can just uh, go over here and then you can just take off the window so we don't have to look at that anymore and then we can just start to use the color wheels actually and let's see what color will make it bluish so one thing to keep in mind is the the color of the shirt you're using it will affect the colors you actually can do so be aware of that w when you start to do this effect okay and we'll do, can do a little color boost here let's go to the Saturation, saturation, mm, and maybe a little less, something like that. And then, of course, we can use the color wheels to dial that color down a little bit. So that's um, looking pretty decent, I think. So let's have a look here. This is one way of doing that trick in DaVinci Resolve 15. You can do this in 14, obviously, as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.